conventional style breaststroke. But the principles of breaststroke apply to all different styles. The acceleration of the legs, the acceleration of the hands, streamlining between strokes apply to all the different styles of breaststroke. Breaststroke kick. You start with your legs out, you raise your heels toward your hips. You want to be careful, a common mistake is drawing your knees under your body. That adds a lot of resistance right here. When you draw your knees under, you add a lot of resistance. So you want to raise your heels toward your hips, reach out with your feet as far as you can, and kick back and together at the same time. You don't want to kick out and then squeeze together. The only thing that happens there is the water goes over and under your leg, and it doesn't help you go forward. Heels up, turn your toes out, feel the pressure on the inside of your foot, the inside of your leg, kick back and together at the same time. All right, on the arm pull, breaststroke arms. Beginning of the stroke, you press back down and out, you sweep out here, and then you turn your palms in. So you get an acceleration slightly back, but mostly in. So it's a sweep out, sweep in style. Sweep out, sweep in, and then forward. A common mistake that young breaststrokers make is over pulling, pulling back here under their chest and stopping. You, if you stop under your chest, you're gonna sink, you're gonna be low in the water. You don't have any, uh, an opportunity for quick hands. Now, at the end of that stroke, this inward sweep's important. Some people get the major propulsion in their stroke on the outward sweep. Some people get the major propulsion on the inward part of the stroke. It doesn't make any difference. You wanna maximize both for you. This maximizes, when you press back down and out, you maximize the power there. Then you turn your palms in and sweep in toward your chin. And then forward. And this is important that you get this forward quickly. It, I like to say one motion forward in breaststroke. Press back down and out, sweep in and forward. The breath comes as your hands begin to separate, your head starts up. And then on the inward sweep, when your, head, when your head and shoulders are at the highest point, you get your breath with your chin right on the surface of the water. Then as your hands go forward, you press forward on your forehead, looking down at the pool slightly, down at the bottom of the pool slightly, and then you're in a great streamlined position to be in the power position for the next stroke. Breaststroke is a timing stroke. It's very important that you have the legs and the arms and the breathing all timed perfectly. So as you sweep back down and out here, you're beginning to recover your legs so that on the inward sweep, you're getting your legs set. And when your hands shoot forward, then you can kick your hands forward. The best breaststrokers finish the extension in front just as their legs are straightening out and coming together. That acceleration seems to work together. You accelerate your legs together and this extension right out here in front. That's perfect timing in breaststroke. The first drill will be breaststroke kick on your back. That's to emphasize keeping the angle at the hip as open as possible. A good tip there when you're doing this drill is to check yourself. Just peek, take a peek. If your knees are coming out of the water, then you're drawing your knees up under you when you swim breaststroke and putting the brakes on. The emphasis is to keep the angle at the hip as open as possible so that you don't create resistance. You'll be dropping your heels down and accelerate your legs back and together at the same time with a long glide. You do it at the first level with your arms at your side. What you want to watch for here is that the knees do not come out of the water that you kick back and together at the same time. As you draw your heels up by your hips, reach out hard with your toes, kick back and together at the same time. The next step is to have your arms over your head in a streamlined position, one hand over the other, squeezing your biceps against the back of your head. Streamline, kick back and together at the same time, with a good glide, that emphasizes the finish of the kick. 
The next drill will be breaststroke kick with both arms out in front in a streamlined position. One hand right over the other, arms straight. And in this, breast, in this drill, you want the water hitting you right in the hairline. When you take a breath, you jut your chin out right on the surface of the water. Then your head returns to the hairline position. You'll breathe right on the surface of the water, then return your head where the water's hitting you right in the hairline. Good, strong kick. Accelerate your legs back and together with a good glide. Now in this drill, you would want to count your kicks to try to cover the distance in fewer kicks maybe the next time you do the drill. One hand over the other in a streamlined position. It's important that you not bend your elbows or separate your hands at any time during this drill. Chin on the surface of the water, then the water hits you in the hairline when you're not breathing, and you look toward the bottom of the pool. Now the advanced level of this drill is your chin on the surface of the water. Again, accelerating your legs together. Good glide. Thinking about distance per kick. In order to stress that, you need to count the kicks per length. This drill will be breaststroke kick with your arms down at your side, just tucked in here behind your hips. And what you do is you raise your heel toward your hand, touch your leg there, and kick back and together at the same time. On this drill, again, you're concentrating on accelerating your legs together. Breathe every kick, chin on the surface, and then you lean forward on your forehead with the water hitting you in the hairline. When you kick your legs back and together, you want to see a little lift, a little upward lift in the hips. It means you get the feel of the kick through your hips. It really helps. The advanced level of this drill is that your chin remains on the surface. This really emphasizes finishing your kick. You kick back and together at the same time. Your legs don't straighten out until they're coming together. A common mistake that most young breaststrokers make is over-pulling. They pull back in here under their chest, and you can find them sinking up and down in the water like this. They pull here and stop, and then sink and then before they reach out. So the next drill is designed, it's half-pull half breaststroke. It's designed to keep those hands out in front of your face. Get used to swimming the stroke out in front of your face rather than pulling in under your chest and stopping. Half pull breaststroke, sweep out, sweep in. Good streamline between each stroke. Many young breaststrokers over pull in their breaststroke. That means they pull back under their chest. And very often when you say half pull breaststroke, that'll be, actually their arm pull will be just about right, even though they think they're only pulling halfway back. Sweep out, sweep in, and get your hands back in front quickly with your legs accelerating together. Breaststroke arms with a flutter kick, designed to emphasize fast hands. All great breaststrokers have fast hands. Feel the water and accelerate through. Feel the water, accelerate through. This flutter kick drill, real fast feet and fast hands. That's what we're after. The emphasis here is on fast feet and having your hands stay up with your feet. That looks great. Fast feet, fast hands. Fast feet, fast hands. All great breaststrokers have fast hands, getting their hands around the corner and back in front quickly. On this drill, you want to feel the water and then accelerate Get your hands forward quickly. Feel the water, then accelerate. Fast feet, fast feet. You'll notice that a couple of the breaststrokers have used fins, the short fins called zoomers, in this drill. That emphasizes fast hands even more. So you can do it with fins, or you can do it without. 
Oh, that's great. Fast feet. Hands in front. Shoot him in front. There you go, fast. In front. Feel him shoot. There you go. Fast feet. That a girl? Breaststroke arms with a dolphin kick. This drill is designed for the timing in breaststroke, getting a little bit of a hip lift, reaching into the catch. This is a great drill for the rhythm or timing of breaststroke. That's beautiful. She sweeps out, sweeps in, accelerates her arms forward. Leans forward on her forehead, streamlining between each stroke. Forward, sweep out, sweep in. Three kicks followed by one complete stroke cycle. This drill is designed to get that streamlined position between each stroke. You get it three kicks in a row. Kick and streamline, kick and streamline, kick and streamline, and then a complete stroke cycle back to the streamline position. You do not breathe during the three kicks. A little hypoxic training here. Streamline while you're kicking, and have that real good stroke back to the streamline position. Three complete kicks, then a complete stroke, including a pull and a kick. Excellent streamlining drill. So you get the idea of streamlining between each stroke, and then you put that complete arm cycle in back to the streamlined position. Full stroke breaststroke will be the unification of all the stroke drills that we've been working on. Notice the continuous arm motion forward. She sweeps out, sweeps in, and then forward. Does not get stuck underneath her chin. Streamlines between each stroke, acceler accelerating her legs together. Breathes right on the surface of the water. Accelerates his legs together. Hands again, do not get stuck under the chin. Accelerates through and forward. Beautiful arms. Sweeps out, sweeps in, out in front of her face. Accelerating her hands forward. Excellent streamlining between each stroke and accelerates her legs together. Here we have an opportunity to add a little fun to our breaststroke drills. We're going to do what we call jumps, and we'll start off by putting both hands on top of the head, and then we turn our feet out, turn the toes pointing out, just like in the breaststroke kick. And we're going to go up and down. We're going to just put our head underwater, and then we're going to explode off the bottom of the pool, looking to strengthen the same muscles that we'd use in our breaststroke kick. Good, really looking to explode off the bottom of the pool. And we generally do this for about one minute. We count the jumps, we rest, and then we come back and do it for another minute and try to get more jumps in. Here we have David, one of our elite athletes, showing that the same drill works for the older athlete and for the younger athlete. Trying to explode off the bottom Okay, here's David doing a dry land drill, which combines flexibility and strength. David, if you'll uh, pull your heels up, reach back and grab your ankles, and now leaving your chin on the deck, we're going to pull of our thighs up off of the ground. And once again, we're looking at the flexibility it takes to do this. Okay, down. Okay, ready? Up. And we're looking for the strength that we have in the lower back and the buttocks area to give us this type of flexibility. Okay, down, up. 
down, up. This is a very difficult exercise, and uh, you'll see as, as they gain more strength, they'll be able to pull their legs a little bit higher off the ground. That looks very good, David. Thanks.